Welcome back to the GSMC Hockey Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. We're talking preview of the Stanley Cup Final here, and this segment is going out to the top storylines of the Stanley Cup Final. The biggest storyline of the Stanley Cup Final is Connor McDavid, the legacy talks, the uh, comparisons to Gretzky, the um, the best player in the world, finally being able to prove it on the big biggest stage in hockey has to that hockey has to offer of the Stanley Cup final that is the most exciting part of the Stanley Cup final of course the reason that a lot of guys are rooting for the Edmonton Oilers in this cup final is because of Connor McDavid here I am so excited to see how he plays (laughs) I'm so excited to see how he plays in the Stanley Cup final he is definitely one of those guys that can just win a series by himself we're kind of seeing we could kind of see that when it comes to the NBA uh, NBA final. Luka Doncic can't, seems like he can be a type of guy to win it by himself. I don't think it's the same level, though. I think Conor McDavid is the best player in hockey uh, and is the best player that hockey has seen since Mario Lemieux, maybe since Wayne Gretzky, and I would not argue with you too much if you were to say that. Conor McDavid is the greatest talent the hockey world has ever seen, and I truly believe that. And when it comes to Connor McDavid, him winning his first Stanley Cup will be absolutely monumental for the kid. Um, and I can't wait to see that. So that's my number one storyline uh, coming into the Stanley Cup final. My number two storyline is you got to talk about the Canadian curse. No Canadian team has won a Stanley Cup final while Gary Bettman has been uh, the commissioner for the NHL. The Montreal Canadiens were the last team in 1993 to win the Stanley Cup final, or the last Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup final. For the Edmonton Oilers to be able to do it, uh, there's been plenty of teams with a chance. It was the Canadians in 21, it was the Canucks in 2011, it was the uh, Oilers in 06, it was, um, I believe 07 had a Canadian team as well. Uh, I'm just blanking on them, uh, who they were, but... Uh, for these Canadian teams, they just haven't been able to get it done in the Stanley Cup Final. Can the Edmonton Oilers become the first ones since the Montreal Canadiens in 1993 to do so? It will be so interesting to see if they are able to do so. That is why that that is my second uh, top um, storyline for the um, for the NHL Finals. My third is the uh, Florida Panthers going back to the NHL. Stanley Cup final they were there last year faced off against the Vegas Golden Knights and they were unable to beat the Vegas Golden Knights Um, but now they have a chance to go back to back and win on their second try Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins were the last to do it uh, in 2009 after losing to the Detroit Red Rings in 2008 they had a chance to go in 2009 and get their revenge, and they were able to do so. Winning that Stanley Cup final, of course, that was Sidney Crosby's first Stanley Cup final of three of his career. And for the Edmonton Oilers, or sorry, for the Florida Panthers, they definitely have a great chance. I believe they have a better matchup this time around than they did against Vegas. Vegas was such a super team last year. And for the Edmonton Oilers, I don't think that they... Uh, I don't think that they're on the same level as that 2023 Vegas Golden Knights team. But only time will tell, and the Florida Panthers definitely can uh, dictate that themselves. They definitely are a team that can win this on the bounce back, on the uh, second try here. So that's something that I'm very interested in. Uh, another storyline is Matthew Kachuk and Sam Bennett. Both of these players played for the Calgary Flames for a while. Matthew Kachuk, of course, playing most recently and getting traded directly from the Calgary Flames. He can go ahead and get some revenge for the Calgary Flames. Of course, if you guys don't know, the Calgary Flames and Edmonton Oilers have one of the richest rivalries in NHL history. That's called It's called the Battle of Alberta, uh, as that is the providence that both of them share. And the Edmonton Oilers are not liked by the teams uh, to the south of them in Calgary. But for for, uh, Matthew Kachuk and Sam Bennett, once you're in that rivalry, it never goes away from you. And these guys uh, definitely are used to facing off against the Edmonton Oilers. And, of course, they're used to beating 
and playing physical against this Oilers team. So we're gonna it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of flair that they bring into the Stanley Cup Finals with them with that a little bit extra chip on their shoulder as they are from or not from, but they have an opportunity. Um, they have an opportunity to kind of revenge their uh, Calgary Flames um, uh, arch nemesis uh, in the Edmonton Oilers. <clears throat> I think a big storyline in the Stanley Cup Finals, moving on from the uh, Battle of Alberta, is Stuart Skinner. Stuart Skinner needs to play amazing, and uh, can he live up to that task? Uh, I, that's what I think is very interesting. With uh, Stuart Skinner, not a fantastic goaltender uh, historically one of the worst in the Stanley Cup playoffs before this year. Uh, But for him, he definitely has the opportunity to right the ship. And he definitely has the opportunity at hand to go ahead and uh, win the Edmonton Oilers, the Stanley Cup Finals. He played fantastic in that last game against the Dallas Stars. I think he saved 38 of 39 shots. Um, He was absolutely amazing. And they need that from Stuart Skinner. They need that version of Stuart Skinner when it's coming down to the Stanley Cup Finals. They're looking at um, that defense to... Uh, we talk about we talk about how amazing their the Edmonton Oilers offense is. But when you get Darnell Nurse and Cody Ceci on the ice together, that's a shutdown pairing. And you have a, a fantastic third and fourth line for defense, uh, defensive-minded third and fourth line as Adam Henrique's a great defensive guy. Connor Brown's a great defensive guy. Ryan McLeod can play good defense. And for the Edmonton Oilers, they're going to need them in front of this, in front of Stuart Skinner. You're going up against Sergei Bobrovsky, who is prone to stealing a game in the playoffs, and he definitely can against this Edmonton Oilers team. So for Stuart Skinner, you're going to need to match those blows and need to play... Uh, play competitive hockey against him who Sergei Bobrovsky is having the uh, playoff run of his life he's playing out of his out of his uh, skates uh amazing so for Stuart Skinner he's going to need to match him and we're it's going to be very interesting to see if he can uh of course not having a fantastic postseason Stuart Skinner before that Dallas Stars um before that Dallas Stars series, but was able to turn it around a little bit, prove that he deserved to be the number one goaltender going into the Stanley Cup final, and I'm very intrigued to see how he rises to to the occasion. Another big name in this <clears throat> Stanley Cup final is going to be Paul Maurice. That is the Florida Panthers head coach. This is his third attempt in the Stanley Cup final. Has not won it the previous two times. He, of course, was... Um, he of course was in the with the Florida Panthers last year when they lost to the Vegas Golden Knights, but also in 2002, his first attempt at this, he lost to the Detroit Red Wings with the Carolina Hurricanes. You can't really blame the Carolina Hurricanes for losing to the Detroit Red Wings at the time because that Detroit Red Wings team was one of the greatest teams uh, that we've ever seen. Of course, winning. Uh, I think they won three cups in that span, if I'm not mistaken, and was such a legendary team. Um, but they lost in five games in 2002. He was able to make it back with the Florida Panthers in 2023, unsuccessful, and now it's his third attempt at the uh, Stanley Cup. And for um, for uh, Paul Maurice, there, you know there's nothing that he wants more than to win the Stanley Cup. Getting a third opportunity is very rare. He cannot waste it for himself and for his legacy in the NHL. Another big name, of course, is Alexander Barkov. He has been... He is the longest tenured uh, Florida Panther. He has been on this team since 2013, their second overall pick in that year, in that draft. He has kind of bled uh, red and white or whatever you want to say their colors are. Uh, He has bled it for the last 11 years of his life. He is a huge part of this organization, the captain for the Florida Panthers. Uh, I've been through this organization uh, through thick and thin, of course, going through a lot of down years in the mid-2010s. So for... Alexander Barkov, him going to a Stanley Cup final for the second year in a row and for him to be able to win it is going to be huge for his legacy and for himself who has been on this team for so long. But that'll wrap it up the talks about the storylines going into the Stanley Cup final. I'm going to take my fourth and final break of the night and then when I come back, it's predictions and it's and it's full series breakdown time and I'm excited to get into that with you guys uh, when I get back from my fourth break on the GSMC Hockey Podcast. <laughs> 